Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So today it's going to be something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install LSPDFR, script hook V, and simple trainer for GTA 5. Now, we're just going to get right into this. I'm not going to make a big long intro that doesn't make any sense in the first place. But basically, right here it says some antivirus software programs mark LSPDFR as a virus. This is known as a false positive. LSPDFR and Rage Plugin Hook make extensive use of memory hooking to achieve a lot of what they do. So basically what this is saying is that sometimes LSPDFR gets marked as a virus. What you want to do if that happens is go down here, type firewall, open that, and click on these and turn all these off. And only do this if it doesn't let you install LSPDFR. But anyways, go ahead and click download this file. You can read this if you want to, I'm not going to. Go ahead and click agree and download. And we're going to be installing the LSPDFR setup.exe. Go ahead and download that. And then it should pop up down here. Or right here. Depends on what internet you have. And it sh well, what internet explorer you have, I should say. So it's going to take a little bit to load because it's a mod. Usually mods take a little bit to load. So once that loads, go ahead and open it. And I'll show you how to do that if you don't know once we get in here. Come on. Yeah, it, d it does take a while. So what you're going to do is click open this file. Click yes. And it'll say please wait while setup is loading unpacking data. It'll load up. Go ahead and pick your language. Okay. Go you can read that if you want to. Go ahead and click next. You can read this. I agree. Make sure these two are installed. I mean checked. Make sure these two are checked. Next. Now what you're going to do here is go browse. Go to Windows C or local C disk or local E disk, whatever you have. Program files times 86. Steam. Steam apps. Common and Grand Theft Auto 5. Go and click OK and install. And we'll go ahead and install there. Go ahead and make sure this is checked and click finish. Now it'll pop up with something like this. The configurator will guide you through the, the initial setup of LSPDFR. Advanced users can skip this. So what you're going to do is go and click next. Please accept the Rage Plugin Hook license. So go ahead and pl click Show License. Yeah, go ahead and click it. What the frick that means? You're going to read this if you want to. Again, I'm not going to. Go ahead and click Accept. Sorry about that. I just hit my mic. And then go ahead and click Do It For Me. And it'll say LSPDFR has been successfully installed. Go ahead and click OK. And what you're going to do now is go ahead and go into your files. Go to Windows C or Local C disk, whatever you have. Program file times 86. Steam. Steam apps. Common. Grand Theft Auto 5. Now scroll down. You won't see all this. That's perfectly fine. You'll probably only see about four files. That's fine. That's what's supposed to happen. Well, four, 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 four folders is what I meant. So you won't have any of these. So that's fine. That's fine. Now what you're going to do, you're going to you're, you're gonna need a mods folder. I just died there. But what you're going to do to create a mods folder, go ahead and right click, go down to new, folder, and then name it mods. And once you have that, go ahead and save that. I already have mine, so I'm just going to delete it. But what you're going to do then is copy your update folder, go into mods, and paste it right there. This could take from 10 minutes to 3 hours, depending on your internet speed, so definitely be ready to wait. But after that's done, go ahead and come back, come back to the video, and we'll show you what else you need to do. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you find RagePluginHook.exe. Go ahead and press right-click and create shortcut. Drag and drop the shortcut on your desktop, wherever you want it. And now, once that's there, go ahead and minimize your files. Go back to your Internet Explorer. Exit out of the LSPDFR tab. Come to this page. And again, all these links will be down in the description. Go ahead and go down until you see 
the download link, go and click download. And it should be a really fast download. It should take one to two seconds. Go ahead and click open file. Now this is very easy. Go ahead and just drag the bin onto your desktop. You can exit out of that now. Open up your GTA 5 main directory. Drag and drop the bin folder in here. And then it should pop up for you right there. And that's what it will have inside of it. Then you can go ahead and delete that off of your desktop. Make sure to keep it in here though. And now you can exit out of that because now that's installed. Now we're going to install the simple trainer. So go ahead and click download. Download again. And this also should take one to two seconds to download. Go ahead and open that. You can minimize that. Actually, you can just exit out of your Internet Explorer now. You do not need that anymore. Now, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to take the trainer.ini and the trainer.asi and drag and drop those right here. Once you're done with that, they should pop up somewhere down here and then you will have that installed. Now you can exit out of that. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and exit out of your files. I would recommend that doing that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to double click on the rage plugin hook.exe shortcut that we put on our desktop. It'll say first time initialization or an installation initialization. What the frick is that? And it'll pop up with something like this. Uh, immediately what you want to do is go ahead and change this one to a five and go to plugins and make sure LSPD first response is checked. Make sure it's on load these plugins on startup. You won't have cop holster EUP manual, foot, per, foot, foot pursuit aid, KTFDO, spike strips, or spotlight. You will only have LSPDFR. Now what you're going to do after you got after you have this changed to 5,000 and this and LSPDFR, LSPD first response checked and this, go ahead and click save and launch. And it'll say something about this. Basically what it's saying is if you ever want to go back to the settings tab, double click the rage plugin hook and hold shift down and then it'll bring up the settings tab again. Go ahead and click OK and it'll start running your GTA. And I'll show you guys, I'll go ahead and let you guys see the process of what it's like just so you guys know uh, what it's going to look like when you're loading in. So it's going to connect to Rockstar Game Services, kind of like you're loading up GTA normally. But from now on, you're always going to click double click this to load your GTA. Unless you don't want to play LSPDFR, then don't double click your Rage plugin hook. But if you want to play LSP LSPDFR, make sure to double click the Rage plugin hook that you have on your desktop. Then it will. It'll start loading up GTA. It'll show this Rage. Uh, thing at the bottom left right uh, I always call that the bottom left right I don't know why then I'll basically load it up like normal except there'll be a rage plugin hook thing in the middle and it'll load your mods so it'll be something like this and it's at the bottom right it should say loading story mode with rage plugin hook then I'll have all this pop up Then soon it should pop up down here, loaded plugin LSPDFR. So it won't show you the cop holster or the EUP menu or the foot pursuit aid or the KTFDO. It'll only show LSPD first response. It won't show spike strips, it won't show spotlight, it won't show any of these besides LSPD first response. and then it might freeze the first time you load in. That's normal. It happens every time to me. That's completely normal. Then I'll, at the bottom right, I'll show loading LSPDFR. Now you'll spawn in in some, in some way. You could be getting done with a traffic stop. You could be getting out of a car, a police car. You could be, you could spawn right next to a police station. You could spawn in your apartment. Yes, you could be sir. taking a shower. It really could be anywhere. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to one of these police badges on the map 
and then go ahead and click to enter you can go in any of these but to, we're gonna we're gonna be going to the day of sheriff one for this one so go ahead and click enter once you get in there and click go on duty Now it won't show any of these things that are popping up at the bottom left. It'll only show you the police locker, garage, go off duty, stuff like that. So go ahead and go to police locker. Uh, sorry about all these things popping up. So go ahead and click your uh, whatever you want to be. LSPD, there we go. Go ahead and click that. You can go to down to confirm. Now go down to police garage. Now once you're in here, you won't see custom cars like I have right now. You'll see the regular GTA 5 cars. But yeah, just go ahead and pick whatever car you want. I'm going to pick this one for now. And then what you're going to want to do is once you get in here, you're going to, I'm going to teach you basically the basic controls to this. So you won't have ELS installed either. I have ELS. It's basically an emer emergency lighting system, but you will not have that either. I'm going to show you guys the basic controls of LSPDFR. So the first one, go ahead and press B on your keyboard. That's going to be the police backup. You can request code 3, transport, code 2, code 3, any, all that stuff. Uh, you can request local patrol unit, state, local, SWAT team, new SWAT team, local EMS, local fire. And then you can choose which, which agency you want to. So yeah. All that. But yeah, uh, and there's also your E key. Uh, if you ever get on a traffic stop, which I'll show you how to do that real quick. So what you're gonna do on a traffic stop is go and get up behind anybody. It doesn't matter who. Here we'll get up behind this ta taxi. Then what you're gonna do is click Shift on your keyboard. And then he'll go ahead and pull over for you. He'll find usually a safe space to pull over, but sometimes he's an idiot and doesn't find a safe space and he just runs into whoever or whatever. So what you're going to do now is get out of your car. And then it'll say, so you can press E. It won't show you the stuff that I have right now. It won't, it won't show you the stop the ped thing but if you press E you'll have all your things you can do to interact with the guy then you can go back to the computer here I'll go ahead and get his ID for this tutorial Giflop. and it'll only show you the driver's license it won't show you any of these other stuff that I got but what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in here yeah, I'm fucking sure. and click frick what is it? Stop. Uh, click Q. Yeah, click Q on your keyboard. And then run the guy's name. I can't remember what the frick the guy's name was because I was not paying any attention. But just go ahead and run his name. You know, I'm going to check that real quick so I can show you guys what it looks like. Uh, Jur... Juromoe... I don't freaking know. Jur... Juromi Stewart. I'm horrible at names. Well, he just went away, but Jer Moe, Jer Omi Stewart. Hey, girlfriend. Yeah, let's go ahead and look that up. And then it'll say license is suspended, no active warrants. So he just went away because I pressed A on my controller, which I'm using controller. But as long as you don't press Shift again, he won't leave like that. But yeah, that's really all the controls you need to know for LSPDFR really but yeah uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and if you did make sure to give me a, make sure to give it a like make sure to subscribe 
and I hope this tutorial helped you out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.